Welcome to this video. In this video we're going to look at how to paint a Horus Heresy Night Lord Sevatar from Forge World for Warhammer 30k. This video is a bit longer than my other videos because of the details that this model has, but it's an overall easy to do color scheme. And what could be cooler than freehand lining in your armor? You can use this color scheme for your 30k Night Lord or even your 40k Night Lord's army. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and stay after the video to learn how you can support my channel. So I start with a primed black model and I attached it to this cup with some poster tack and I use a temporary base where I use a little bit of super glue to paint the model easier. I'm going to start by base coating the armor with canter blue. I'm using a little bit of drying retarders for my paint to last uh, wet longer and I'm just giving it a good base coat uh, because this is a very detailed model and I really don't like to mess these up I want them to be very high quality I try to thin down a bit more my paint and use multiple layers so if this color doesn't cover too well on the first try feel free to give it a second coat once it's dry Next, I'm going to use P3 Cold Steel. Uh, you can use Citadel Lead Belcher instead, but I'm a big fan of these uh, paints and I wanted to try them out in a tutorial just to let you people know uh, that they are very good. And uh, these are very thin and they cover very well. And uh, I think they're, they're worth checking out if you're interested in new metallic colors. They are pretty good. Uh, I'm using uh, size 2 brush and I'm just base coating all of the silver areas around the model. Once it's done I'm going to cover the whole model with known oil. Uh, we're trying to cover all of the blue and silver parts on known oil to give it this to give them that very dark shadow and I'm using uh, the same brush to have a little bit more control and I'm just uh, trying to not let it pull too much on the areas, just let it uh, sit on the recesses and uh, tint the armor a little bit darker. Next, as usual, I'm going to use Canter Blue again and clean up the armor to bring back the blue color and leave the darker blue color on the recesses. About the uh, Petri paint, if you if you decided that you want to try it out, make sure it's a black label paint. The the older ones, the the ones that are not black label, uh, I was told that they weren't as good. Uh, but I tried these new ones and I really like them. So give give them a try. Uh, here I'm just carefully uh, layering layering this color into the armor again to bring the color back and leave the darkest color on the recesses. Next, Kalador Sky. I'm going to start edge highlighting this color on the edges of the armor. I'm not afraid of being a little bit uh, broad on my edge highlights because uh, this, uh, if this color shows through the other edge highlight that I'm gonna do, it's gonna look like a midnight glow or something like that. And that's why I'm going for a very the most vibrant blue colors for the edges, so that I can get that very vibrant uh, dark night kind of look on the armor. With the same color sky, I'm doing little lines on the side of the armor with a little bit thinner paint, and not very carefully, just a, an overall shape of a lightning bolt. Uh, that it's uh, not very thin, it doesn't matter because we're going to further highlight it. Next I'm using Teclis Blue and this is a thinner edge highlight. Uh, for all these steps I've been using a detail brush, fine detail brush from Citadel and using Triangle Retarder in my advantage to help me keep the paint wet longer and making the tip uh, spinning and dragging the brush on the palette so that it's uh, sharp and then I could get all of the sharpest details. Taking my time, being very careful to make uh, thin lines. And here I'm trying to go inside of the design of the lightning bolt that I did on the last step. Just being inside of the last step, 
but still I'm not worrying about it being very thin or very detailed. It's just a rough sketch. Next I'm mixing white scarred with Teclis blue. And here I'm being a little bit more precise, trying to get the shape of the lightning bolt that I want. Here we're drawing with a very sharp uh, brush the shape of the lightning bolt as we want it, leaving the other two colors behind, uh, make them work like a glow that surrounds the lightning shape. Next, after that I'm going to use white scar. And with this color, I'm only going to paint the places in which the lightning um, splits. Also, you can choose to paint some places that you like to enhance the brightness of, but it's not strictly all of the lightning bolt. Next, I'm using Petri Quicksilver. And with this color, I'm going to edge highlight all of the metallic silver areas. I'm not really blocking the silver silver areas again with uh, this paint. I'm just picking the edges and making them shine like this. Uh, the other color is very bright by itself, so I, I don't think it needs any other uh, coat. But if you want, you can use Iron Breaker or Runefang Steel from Citadel instead. Here with Record Flesh, I'm starting to paint the bone areas. I'm going for a very white, clean bone instead of a more yellowish kind of bone. So I'm going to paint bone with Record Flesh and also the scrolls on the chest plate. I'm going to paint them with this color. This is just a base coat, so it just needs a little bit of water. And I'm going to use Mornfang Brown to paint all of the leather areas that I want around the model. This is very, these are very uh, small details, like straps and uh, the knife uh, holster. Next, with black, Vallejo model color black, you can use Abaddon Black if you want. I'm going to paint some details on black, which usually are the weapons and uh, some places here and there. Next, I'm going to use Balthazar Gold and with this color I'm going to paint gold details which is which are very uh, few. It's just a knife handle and some details on the weapons usually. Next, Corn Red, I'm going to use it to paint the bat-like wings on top of the helmet. It's just a base coat as well as the other colors. When you're using metallics, uh, not the P3, but the Balthazar Gold, I like to use Drying Retarder. And with basic colors like uh, Corn Red and others, I can just use water. But mixing a little bit of Retarder helps as well to work longer with the paint if you want. Bugman's Glow, I'm going to use it to paint the flayed flesh of his uh, cape and stuff like that. Again, just using a little bit of water to thin it down. And I'm applying it with a size 2 brush. Equivalent of a base coat brush. Here I'm using Celestra Grey to paint the wing of this uh, decoration here on the armor. And I'm going to use Aquarax Earthshade to shade in most of these colors. I'm going to use this color to shade in the, the wings on the top of the helmet and the bone and the gold. And also the, the Mornfang Brown. But those details are very, very uh, little, so that it doesn't need much. Uh, shade. Raycon Flesh Shade. I'm going to use this color to shade in the skin, the flayed uh, flesh of his robes. That's it. Don't forget to always shake very well your washes uh, or the wash tends to separate 
and you get uh, very like frosting when you don't do that properly. Next I'm using Drakenhof Nightshade and with this color I'm just uh, shading a little wing detail on the armor. Next I'm going to use Record Flesh again on the bone to clean up. Uh, this is uh, just a cleanup uh, step where I'm uh, picking most of the areas again, leaving the washes on the very darkest recesses as a shadow color. It's a highlight that is going on most of the area, just leaving the darkest parts on the shaded color. Next, palette witch flesh. With this color, I'm picking uh, the highest parts on the bone and leaving a little bit of the record flesh and the shaded color behind. Being very careful I'm using still a fine detail brush just to have a lot of control. Ultimate gray I'm gonna use it on the uh, the wings on that detail there on the armor just leaving the recesses on the previous color and to finish all these both steps at the same time I'm go going to use white scar uh, white scar on the most uh, only the edges of the feathers and on the bone I'm using it on the sharpest uh, most prominent parts of the, of the bone areas is to give them a very uh, clean white bone look. Next, corn red again is going to be used to clean up the bat like wings on the top of the head of Sevatar, just leaving the shade on the recesses as always. Next, I'm using Wasdaka Red. Wasdaka instead of Evil Sun Scarlet because it's a, a little bit more dulled down red highlight. It's not as bright. And I'm using this to paint uh, the raised surfaces and the edges on the top of the wings. And Wild Rider Red, the most uh, brightest red that I can find and uh, this is only going on the sharpest edges on the wings. Also the eyes, I don't think I don't think I recorded myself paint myself painting them, but I used the same three colors which is the corn red, the Wasdaka and Evil Suns in a transition form from dark to light going to the front of the lens. Here I'm using Deathclaw Brown to pick up all of the leather straps. And Edge in Grey is going to be the edge highlight for the black details. It's a very quick step. Whenever you can edge highlight, it's better than just uh, highlighting the whole area. But whenever you can't, if the detail is too small, it doesn't matter. Gehenna's gold is going to be used to bring up the shine of the gold again after the wash. And Buckmite's Glow, I'm going to use it again on the skin. Moving on to the skin area, I'm going to just clean up and leave the the wash on the recesses. Uh, you could jump and use the next step instead, but because I'm using the washes very heavily, I like to clean up again so that the transition is not very, uh, it doesn't jump too much from one dark color to a bright color. So if you apply the base coat color again after the wash, you will have an easier time layering the brightest highlights on top of them, which is here the Cadian Flesh Tone. I'm trying to 
paint this color on most of the area that is facing the light source which is up and the sharpest edges as well and Kislev Flesh concentrating on a smaller area than the previous color and all of the edges that are exposed to light we're very close to finishing up Once I attach the model to its original base, I'm using blood for the blood god as a blood effect for the cape. I'm not being very careful about it, I'm splattering all over the cape and I'm also going to use it on the weapons. And uh, because of the, the original artwork has a very uh, blood uh, stained cape. I decided to use it very liberally and making some uh, like uh, blood stains and spots on the top like sta stippling it up towards the top edges of the blood um, stains and that's pretty much it thank you very much for watching this tutorial I really appreciate that you stick around to watch this full tutorial which is uh, very long over 17 minutes now and uh, I really like this color scheme the lightning bolt looks pretty cool and if I started a 30k army I would seriously consider making some night lords because they look pretty cool thank you very much for watching I hope this video was informative and helpful to you for you to start your night lords 30k or 40k army I really enjoyed making this tutorial and please let me know what you think of it on the comment section below. Like the video, comment on it, and subscribe to the channel to see more videos. Remember that you can find me on Facebook, and if you want, you can stick around after the video to learn how you can support my channel. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. You stayed. Great. Thank you very much for watching my video and if you would like to further support my channel, you can become my Patreon on Patreon. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month and you are helping me create more and better content. If you can't, that's fine because you're helping my channel a lot just for watching and sharing, but you can read all of the details if you follow the link in the description below. I hope you can spare a dollar to make this hobby of mine a job for which I can get paid. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.